Valkyria Chronicles, the Edelweiss tier 8 Japanese medium tank. Obviously some kind of fancy tank, uh, not fancy tank, fantasy tank uh, from the anime series uh, Valkyria Chronicles. Uh, this is my first game ever playing in this tank in all the years that it's been out. Uh, I made a video recently about the Nameless uh, a couple of weeks ago but I featured someone else, someone else's replay and I actually haven't played that tank either. Now uh, you can see I have two replays for you today, uh, both very different but this isn't actually my first game in this tank. This is actually my second game in, in this tank and the other replay is my third game in this tank. Uh, now I'm running the um, improved rotation mechanics in my first slot the rammer, a vertical stabilizer, and another vertical stabilizer in the um, the fourth slot. Um, I did try playing this tank with vents in the first slot, uh, but I realized that I needed more uh, gun stabilization on the move, and um, this worked out better for me with the IRM instead of the vents in the first slot. Now this is a tier nine matchmaker, and uh, you know, I know a lot about these two Valkyria Chronicles tanks. Uh, not because I play them a lot, but because I play against them a lot. And it's not a secret that the Nameless is the more popular between the two tanks. Uh, that's because the Nameless is a heavy tank and it's pretty good heavy tank. However, the Edelweiss, which is this one, has kind of surprised me a bit. Uh, like I said, this was my second game in this um, in this tank, and the second second game I've ever played in this tank. So I was still trying to get my footing and still trying to uh, gain my confidence, trying to work out how far this eight degrees of gun depression uh, I can work with. Uh, I am firing all premium shells. Uh, I do that quite often uh, just to see how far I can. Uh, push this tank and make it uh, work in this scenario now the conqueror on the enemy team is pointing the, his gun up in the sky he's like trying to protect his cupola at the back but I just shoot his um, gun mantlet and it's not a problem if I can get the right angle easily pen that uh, gun mantlet and uh, it looks like we have a little bit of support here from the our own teammates the AMX um, but uh, yeah, fighting in this position, is well, this, is, this is a very popular position. If you have a little bit of uh, gun depression, you can make it work. I do have 8 degrees in the Edelweiss, but I can't manage to pen the side of the Conqueror down there. Even though it was a little bit sloped, I didn't pen that and I didn't pen the side of his turret so it was a little bit of a challenge there. Managed to shoot his either the top of his engine deck or his uh, the side of his tank but he's giving me his entire side now so I managed to uh, shoot him and get a little bit of the fire going on and uh, now I'm just shooting the back of the Bizonte C45 who is kind of like stuck between a rock and a hard place I managed to bounce a shot from the WZ120 tank destroyer which is pretty lucky um, I do get a little bit of uh, luck in this game uh, managed to bounce that shot um, but uh, yeah like I was saying this tank is actually a lot better than I thought it was going to be uh, if you look at the stats uh, it doesn't look like it has very great stats the gun dispersion on this thing is 0 0.36 and the best that I can get it down to is 0 0.33 uh, that's with food that's with uh, BIA crew um, and 0 0.33 is not the best of gun depression, uh, gun dispersion, dispersions. Uh, the moving dispersion as well, 0 0.14. And uh, when I was running vents with vertical stabilizers, it wasn't enough to reduce the uh, moving dispersions on this tank. And I also think maybe the slow aim time has got something to do with it. Um, but after I put on the improved rotational mechanics, um, 
maybe the rotational mechanics uh, stacked with the vertical stabilizer helped out a little bit in uh, bringing down the um, accuracy, you know, making the accuracy slightly better than it was uh, with the vents. And I feel like with this setup, it is a lot better now. And uh, I think I played four games in this tank and I got a 100% win rate. I was really surprised with this tank. I didn't think it would perform as good as uh, it has. Um, obviously, in terms of tier 8 mediums, there are lots of tanks out there uh, that are going to compete with this tank. And, you know, the new tanks like the uh, AP, AMX AP prototype is very popular now and is very good tank. Um, the type 59 which is getting a little bit of a resurgence nowadays uh, because uh, it was buffed uh, the turret armor is really good uh, mobility is a lot better so the type 59 is uh, gaining popularity again and is uh, doing very well as a tier 8 medium tank um, i don't know what um, what the either wise would be uh, compared to all the other medium tanks that are super popular out there i mean you you're talking about the uh, brass you're talking about the t44 100 you're talking about the cs52 lis though those tanks are by far the better tanks uh, but the edelweiss in terms of notoriety um, you know it has a different look on it it has an anime look on the tank which, which makes it kind of special and collectible uh, if it was available in EU and NA, I'm sure a lot of people will pick it up. But it is not available in EU and NA to, you know, my brethren there. Uh, but, you know, maybe one day it will come. I don't know. But I can see why this could be a complicated issue. And, you know, it could face some pushback with the EU and NA community and that's because if you didn't know the Edelweiss is a type of flower it is an alpine flower uh, you know it lives up in the high treetops in the Alps uh, very high altitude flower and this flower was actually associated with uh, the Wehrmacht and the Waffen SS in the World War II, during the World War II, uh, it was their uh, symbol, it was the symbol of the Third Reich of the SS, basically. And, you know, if there was a reason why this tank is not released in NA or EU, I think this would be the most logical reason. Uh, maybe our Japanese animators and people who make cartoon there uh, did not know the significance of the Edelweiss flower but uh, you know people in Europe and North America would definitely know uh, that this flower was associated with Nazis and it could face some kind of pushback a lot of people would be disappointed if uh, you know maybe they released this tank there I don't know this is just my speculation but um, the first game there in um, What's the name of the map? I can't remember. 2.9k damage. That was pretty good for a quick game, especially in a tier 9 game. Uh, pretty good there. But uh, this one in uh, Malinovka, you know, south, south spawn, I've decided to be um, an aggressive scout. I'm going to take up the scouting position. Well, it's not like a light tank position, it is a medium tank position. Uh, if you're an aggressive medium tank, you can take up this early position uh, hangout at this ramp if you have some uh, good view range like the Edelweiss, which coincidentally has 390 meters of uh, view range as standard. Uh, easily get it up to 440 um, without even running optics, you know, just with a BIA crew. And with food, you can get it up to, you can see my, my view range circle, it's almost the 445, I think it's maybe 443, something like that. And I took a big hit there from the GW Panther, and he caught me on the downslope. It is, you know, it's not often that a 
uh, artillery catches, catches you on a slope like this. But I'm taking up this position to try and uh, do some spotting uh, in this game and see if I can, uh, you know, get some spotting damage as well as some actual damage. But I can't seem to be able to shoot those guys that have climbed up the hill. But there is a, a Super Hellcat there that is presenting himself. He's trying his best to hide behind the rock, but again, artillery trying to shoot at me. I managed to snipe down that Super Hellcat. Uh, I'm taking full aim here, but I managed to hit that rock for some reason. That's okay. Um, I'm going to continue and uh, try and take out this Super Hellcat. He is kind of stuck there. If he sticks out a little bit more, he's going to get shot by my teammates. Now he's trying to run away and I managed to snapshot him and finish him off. Uh, I've done 800 damage so far, done 920 spotting. Um, I'm going to continue trying to poke up here and uh, use my gun mantlet and see if I can uh, spot these enemy teams trying to make it up the hill. Now if you pay attention to my what my team is doing, I have a lot of base campers. Uh, we've got a couple of Super Hellcats and a Skoda T27. Uh, that is not contributing too much there uh, at, at the base. Um, they're not going to be in very good positions where they are, but you know, at least I know if you know any of the enemy guys like me, AMBT, if they decide to rush me, at least I think I can count on these two Hellcats and the Skoda T27 behind me to help me out. I'm trying to snipe the type 59 um, but i didn't manage to get a shot there i'm being spotted by someone i can't really figure out who is the one uh spotting me it has to be those guys on the hill uh, maybe someone is poking over the, the ledge where the grass is uh, where the bush is and he could be those guys could be spotting me out now i'm trying to aim at these guys climbing the hill but uh, they have good coverage there. Unless they are some kind of tall tank, I won't be able to even get the the turrets of their tank. So what I'm going to try and do is sneak up in front here. This is a pretty good position uh, to spot. And there you go. Spotted the AMBT. See if my teammates can uh, shoot the AMBT. Um, I'm trying to get the top of the VK. I see the 1357 up on my... Um, left side but I decided not to go after him because I didn't think I would be able to hit the 1357 anyway so I just keep my focus on the VK um, up climbing up the hill and even that VK taking the VK taking the low ground I still don't have any kind of shot on him I was expecting to be able to at least uh, you know try to get the side of his turret or something but look I only have a sliver of his cupola and there is that's just no bueno so the best I can do right now is just try to get a little bit of spotting up here uh, we are up five tanks um, but I am the furthest forward and the guys behind me that can support me are quite a ways behind me the leo skoda t27 are very far behind me uh, while i'm shooting the vk i do see the 1357 and i will try to take a shot at him but i miss the 1357 that is quite a shame but uh, i'm gonna have a second bite at the cherry because it looks like he is trying to get away uh, i bounce a yak panzer but i ate a shot from the Rhein Metal Borsig for 316 and it looks like that Borsig was firing HE at me. Um, very fortunate there because if he did connect with the big gun I would have been down 750 hit points so I need to pay attention to that Borsig Yak uh, J Panther uh, that is on my left so I'm gonna be as careful as I can but I still uh, want to see if I can get a little bit of damage out here before I could pull the trigger my gun was not fully aimed 2.21 seconds aim time which means uh, the aim time for this gun is really kind of slow and uh, making the medium tank even though it has a high rate of fire it doesn't make it accurate enough 
and um, I'm being spotted, taken a hit from the Lantern Sea, which is hiding up in the north, in the jungle. Uh, took 300 damage there. Uh, there is still a Borsig and a J Panther uh, close to the base. I need to be careful about what I'm doing, although we are up by, you know, eight, eight tanks and we're definitely going to win this. I still want to be able to uh, spot as many tanks and stay alive for as long as possible. J Panther gets another 343 damage on me and I bounce the Rheinmetall Borsig even though if he was firing HE uh, it would have been 300 plus damage gone there. So very lucky to escape from that um, Rheinmetall Borsig and uh, he's the only survivor left on the team and uh, I've spotted 1872 in this tank even without optics on this tank done about 1600 damage i'm going to spot the rhymotel boss sick i ready up my he but i only do 126 damage Ooh, what a shame i should have been firing my standard shells or ap apcr shells but i did manage to get him on fire uh, for 340 damage so it added up to my total spotting damage 2401 assisted damage and 1700 of my own damage uh, not the top damage uh, in fact the top damage was was a tank destroyer for over 4000 damage but still pretty happy about my performance only my third game in this tank got a patrol duty for it as well hope you enjoyed this video i'll see you on the next one bye bye